percent staff sat and listened to 39 auditions. From these 39 prospects, a select group was chosen. 30 women, 9 guys. Yes, not everyone who auditions gets a part in cabaret. But with 30 girls, it was difficult to put them all into one big number. We decided to do one song in each act featuring 15 of our girls. In looking for a girl's number, we searched Broadway shows from A to Z, trying to find a song which we could use so many girls. Last year, we featured a number from the Broadway show, The Boyfriend. Turning to the show once again, here are half of our girls in the opening tune from The Boyfriend, Perfect Young Ladies. Hello. Is this Miss Sugar Stone? The customer. Here is Madame Dubonnet's maid. A Dubonnet. D U B O N N A T. Madame Dubonnet of the Villa Caprice. At the school for young ladies. I wish to inquire about a costume for Miss Polly Brown. Brown.
which you don't wish to acknowledge. Oh, you're not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got the trouble, my friend. We're right here to take trouble right here in Jersey City, Washington. I'm a very good friend of Jersey City, Washington. I'm proud to say you always find it proud to say. I can do it at the hour of the day. This one is usually my hand or gold. I'm going to go to play more tips. And it's cool. And it's key. I'm sure you're going to try to give an ironclad lead when you're filled from a three-year-old bill. You're trying to say 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 you're tr
now Charlie Brown, who as usual has a major and Hank has created his security blanket for a doghouse and goggles. And as he portrays Snoopy, preparing to take on his arch nemesis, the Red Baron. <laughs> We've also featured one of our most perfect young ladies. Oh. <laughs> of all auditions, hers was the highest score. In fact, on a scale from 1 to 10, we think she's an 11. Our song, From Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, features Kristen Preserver as Lucy, David Carroll on piano, and Stephen Bradshaw as Schroeder. I think lunchtime is the worst time of the day for me. Always having to sit here alone. Of course, well, some mornings aren't so great either. Waking up and wondering if anyone would really miss me if I never got out of bed. Then there's the night too. Lying there and thinking about all the stupid things I've done during the day. And all those hours in between. When I do all of those stupid things. <laughs> well, lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. Well, I guess I better see what I've got. Peanut butter. Some psychiatrists say that people who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. I guess they're right. And if you're really lonely, the peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. Boy, the PTA sure did a nice job of painting these benches. There's that cute little red-headed girl eating her lunch over there. I wonder what she would do if I went over and asked her if I could sit with her. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughter. <laughs> There's an empty place next to her on the bench. There's no reason why I couldn't go over and sit there. I could do that right now. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward, she wouldn't even think of looking at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember her ever looking at me. Why doesn't she look at me? Is there any reason in the world she shouldn't look at me? Is she so great, and am I so small that she couldn't spare one little moment just to... She's looking at me. She's looking at me! Here's the World War I flying ace high above France, searching for the infamous Red Baron. Suddenly, an aircraft fire, Archie as we call it, begins to burst beneath my plane. The Red Baron has spotted me.
at me with this stupid bag on my head. She must think I'm the biggest fool alive. But if she isn't looking, then maybe I can take it off quickly before she notices it. Then again, I can't tell if she's looking until I take it off. But if I never take it off, I'll never have to know if she was looking or not. On the other hand, it's very hard to breathe in here. <laughs> not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh well, another lunch hour over with. Only 2,863 to go.
Here are Peggy and company in many a new day.
little bit of luck. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron. So he could do his job and never shirk. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron. What? With a little bit of luck.
lover featuring a group of girls. This is not by coincidence. Who's planned that? So as you might expect, our next number features our guys again. When the show West Side Story is <coughs> dedicated to production staff, musical directors and choreographers cringe. The show is demanding for curtain to curtain. When we decided to attend something of the show, we accepted this challenge knowing we would have our hands full all the time. But our guys came through, and the pit came through. Oh yes, the pit. Audience, meet the pit.